to go. Uh, 50 mile full reviews coming for most of these shoes. I don't know about the North Face shoe. Uh, but Donuts for breakfast, you better believe it. Boom. party oh mama what a good time okay so it's uh it's surreal everybody uh struggling a little bit with the fact that my oldest son is turning nine maybe a little bit but that's actually not the focus of today's vlog uh oh i actually need to keep this garage door open for one second hold on okay there we go so um yeah I just always want to be transparent. So if you've been watching the vlog, actually, let me know. Come on now. Is there anybody watching right now who's been subscribed since 1,000 subscribers? If so, that means you've, you may have seen Joseph when he, uh, let me think, he's nine minus five. So he would have been four. So I was filming his birthday, starting to film his birthday on the vlog when he was four, or would have been five, anyway, a long time ago, it's amazing. So, what am I always saying on the channel? Running is part of life, life is part of running. Yes, we do a lot of running shoe reviews here. Yes, we film epic shots up in the mountains like yesterday. Yes, we talk about training and racing and all that good stuff, but at the end of the day, I find it more exciting, frankly, and, um, just important to share life in addition to the running, okay? So that's what we did today. Joseph's nine, happy birthday, Joseph, we love you. And speaking of life and transparency, I'm gonna share downstairs in the basement, like 
on what I'm going through right now. Just like the little struggle, the little tension in this training block. I also saw a box, the first box to arrive on the front porch. Very exciting. We'll go grab that. And then I also want to talk about these shoes right here, which the reviews are coming down the pike very soon. Okay, let's go. There it is. Come on. Grab these shoes and yes, break down some struggles. That's what DGR does. We're not afraid to open up and just be transparent, whether it's in the comments below, over on Discord. In fact, I'm going to go there. The Pirate Potter on Discord shared today that he rolled his ankle on his run. And we're there for him, though, to support him, to encourage him, to tell him to be patient. Uh, give, give him, you know, I give him a few insights as to what I do when I roll my ankle. So anyway, it's all about, uh, you know, going out, putting yourself out there, not being afraid to fail, and then retreating a little bit when you do make a little mistake, whether it's in running, whether it's in life, it doesn't matter. And then boom, you go out and you try again. You turn that doorknob again. So anyway, that's what we're going to talk about first though. Here we go. Uh, 50 mile full reviews coming for most of these shoes. I don't know about the North Face shoe, uh, but definitely the Asics, the On, and the Skechers. I realize you all have been very patient with me through the move and getting these running shoe reviews out the door and published for all of you. So I want to give you a quick overview and then we'll open up this box in a second. Skechers Speed Freak, 57 miles. I do believe we took it to. And it's a classic Skechers shoe. I guarantee the upper uh, score is, is not going to be so so good. Uh, the midsole was solid, not amazing, but solid. But I got to say, it's uh, if you're in charge of your foot strike, your ankle, your ankle flexion, your foot strength, boom, this could be an option for you. I will report though, just after 50 miles, 50, I think, yeah, 57 miles, that the outsole is starting to show some wear and tear. Skechers Speed Freak, spelled F-R-E-E-K, is, it's just a classic Skechers shoe, which actually works really well for my foot strike, which is why I took it to 50 miles. On Cloud Boom Echo, the marathon racing shoe from On, it's not the lightest shoe out there. You know me and On. I've had some struggles in the past with On, but I gotta say, I took it to 50 miles. So that's a good sign, On. If there's one word that jumps out to me for this shoe, it's smooth, okay? Smooth through the foot strike. Energy return, nah. So instead of the carbon fiber plate, oh my goodness, there it is. Instead of the carbon fiber plate, they call it the speed board, okay? And yes, can you see the hitchhiker in the midsole there, okay? I think that's probably the second or third hitchhiker I picked up in this shoe, which is unfortunate. So overall, I took it to 50 miles and I'll get you the score. My guess is the score is gonna be low sevens. That's just my guess right now. All right, moving on to the A6 Fuji Light 2. This was yesterday's shoe, I do believe. Let me just mute that real quick. And I... <sighs> Midsole ride, amazing. I'm trying to think what I dislike about this shoe. Commuter shoe, potential winter commuter shoe in a big, big, big way. Not a crazy high stack height, so you have a little more stability out on the trails. Asics Fuji Light 2, I am excited about everybody. Okay, so feeling good, oh man. Nice durometer score, oh. Asics. I'm going to say it's going to be a high sevens is my guess. Maybe it might even break into the eights. Just putting it out there right now. And last but not least, the North Face Flight Vective. I got this shoe about four months ago. They sent me the wrong size though. And sure enough, it was tough to run in the shoe, with, which was the wrong size. So they sent me another size and it was much, much better. A little bit of a firm ride, firm durometer score. Uh, but there is a plate inside that midsole, the first, maybe arguably, first carbon fiber plate in a trail running shoe, the North Face Flight Vective. Not saying it's going to be a high, high, I don't remember what the weight is, it feels okay. Uh, but overall, I'm more excited about it right now than I was four months ago, probably because it actually fits on my foot better. Uh, so anyway, I will get you the score. I think we'll go to 50 miles, but it might take me a little longer. Then the ASIC shoe, okay, I don't have the knife. It's uh, it's actually at the old studio still. So we're gonna have to try and uh, 
open this up here. Hold on. Let me just see here. Hold on. Uh, first shoe at the new house. Very, and I realize the Studio 2.0. It's gonna, it's gonna take a little while, everybody, to set it up. Okay, here we go. One, two, should I do the eye test? Let's do the eye test since uh, it's the first shoe in the house. Here we go, boom, oh, hello. Uh-huh, here we go, okay. Now, full disclosure, I know it's New Balance because I saw it on the outside of the box. But here, I don't know what the shoe is, okay? One, two, and three. Eyes closed, eyes closed, here we go. I have no clue, thank you. Oh, it's a road shoe. Mmm. Oof. There's so many numbers in the North, in the uh, New Balance lineup. I'm gonna go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 860. See, it might be. Is this a stability? Sh it is a stability. I do believe the. There it is on your screen. Okay. I believe the eight. It's like New Balance has so many numbers in their shoe system. So bottom line, New Balance 860 is the first shoe to arrive at the new house, everyone. There it is. All right, let me put these down here. Get you the comment of the day. Actually, first, let's go there. The struggle. I am struggling, everyone, more so than in the past with tapering. I'm just, I know that's kind of a, maybe an anticlimactic uh, uh, answer to the title of the vlog. I just want to be transparent with you. I'm not really enjoying it. It's, uh, I think what happened is that I trained so hard for the Naples half marathon, the Toledo half marathon, uh, with moving, just like the anxiety, not the, you know, just like, the, the, it was a lot. It was a lot to move an entire, sell a house, buy a house that I enjoyed the mountain running so, so much in June and July. I, I'm struggling a little bit saying goodbye to that and sharing it with all of you here on YouTube. I got, I'll just admit it, the new drone is very exciting for me. As a cinematographer, a daily creator here on YouTube, that gets the juices going for me. And so to say goodbye to this training block with about, when you're watching this, you know, 10 days to go, I'm struggling with embracing the taper. But I know everybody, I know, if I embrace the tape, embrace the taper, fit, healthy and fresh. We're working on that middle one, fresh. You gotta taper. When you put in the work, when you work hard, when you put yourself out there, take some calculated risks, which, which I definitely did in this training block, you have to taper. You gotta, if you wanna do your best on race day, the legs need to be happy. Right now, they're probably at a six and a half out of 10. So I've got 10 days to get them to a 10 out of 10, okay? I mean, I gotta freshen up, gotta take care of the body, gotta sleep, gotta eat right. All these little things that add up to good th goodness on race day. And so that is my struggle. I'm not enjoying this taper. And I'm just, I'm just being very, very forthright with you. Um, but, but I made a vlog, I do believe, I think it's called Trust the Taper, Tr something like that. If I find it, I believe I will find it, of course, upper right-hand corner and or down below in the description. Trust the taper, something like that, I believe it's called, because we got a taper. All right, comment of the day, here we go. Shout out to Alexander, thanks for being a member of the channel, channel Alexander. Here we go, my hiccup during this training cycle was from pride. I was doing my long run on a paved trail and I spent just over one mile chasing down a gentleman in a full Iron Man outfit. The moment I passed him, one of my shoelaces came undone. I quickly yanked the laces together and passed him again, but I had yanked too hard and could feel the tendons of my foot stretching to accommodate. I ran about a mile that way before I had enough lead where I could stop and relax the lacing. Two days later, my ankle complained very loudly that it did not appreciate the strain and I spent the next two weeks rehabbing rather than building mileage. Alexandra, that's what I'm talking about. That is transparency. That is DGR strong. That is holding each other accountable. Like you are calling yourself out and I love it. Like, it, and, it, and I'm calling myself out about the taper. Like I'm not enjoying it, but I know I have to do it. Okay. So I love, I, I think many of us have been there, Alexandra, where we tie our laces too tight and we end up hurting the top of our foot and it hurts and it takes a little while to, to get to come back from that. So 
Thank you, Alexander, for being transparent and honest with us. It makes a difference down below in the comments. Speaking of the comments, here we go. What are you struggling with right now in life or in running? Remember, birthday today with Joseph. Life is part of running. Running is part of life. Okay, everyone, I love you. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. We will toss it to that vlog about trusting the taper, okay? Right here, right here, right here. I will do my best to find it right here, right here, right here. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.